We have one more dish that I would like to show you. So we have uh, pork cheek, what we're going to serve with some red cabbage and uh, mountain lingonberries. So uh, what we have here, it's, uh, so first we actually brine the cheek in a seasoning liquor for four hours and afterwards it gets uh, cooked sous vide uh, on uh, 86 degrees, four hours. And then afterwards we glaze it in our lingonberry reduction. So it's very, very dark, very uh, nice uh, in sweetness, a little bit as well, uh, the sourness still in it. So when the cheek is beautiful glazed, we take it out. Up. Careful, it's sticky and very hot. <laughs> then we actually uh, put some of our lovely preserved uh, lingonberries over it. Really like working uh, with lingonberries because they have such a nice uh, sweetness, sourness and bitterness. Then we uh, dust the whole thing with a little bit of a bay leaf powder. So I mean, normally when you hear when you hear about you know those products, lingonberry, bay leaf, uh, glaze, red cabbage, uh, you 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 may think of uh, that, that must be served with uh, game or you know, but would like to do it a bit differently <laughs> so that's why we choose uh, pork cheek and I think it's a very still a very underrated uh, piece of meat so what we do with the with the red cabbage so we have the red cabbage cooked and then we grill it on the charcoal so until it's very black as you see then it gets uh, diced very very thinly and seasoned with uh, with an apple what we whack back and we leave for three months uh, on 60 degree. So you get, you get the very nice uh, apple molasses. So that's the chopped up grilled red cabbage, but seasoned with our uh, apple molasses. What we do over three months. And so we do a nice canela out of it. Place in a plate. Cheat goes next to it. Up. And to finish off, you just drop, you just pour a drop of stock into the middle. Thank you.